Welcome everybody to Turbs Games. Coming to you, coming to you with another video on Fallout 4. This is a few places of uh, power armor to help you guys get a little ahead of the game. Some quick, easy locations of how to find them. And uh, I, got, I got full sets, half sets, just whatever, and a couple vendors that sell them. All right, guys. First location, y'all know it's the Concord Quest. When you meet Preston. This is the power armor. Uh, I fixed it up, put mods on it. But uh, you get it in this location on top of the museum. Go through the quest, and that's the very first one. The next location is over here in the Rotten Landfill, down in the little lake area. It's, it's completely submerged. You can see partially the uh, vertebrate that's sunk in the ground. And all you do is just go down beside it, down the water. There it is. It's got, it's a T-51, don't have a um, helmet, but, and a, a leg's missing, but it's still good. You can find T-51s pretty much everywhere. So, that's the next one. Here's another location for you guys. They're all pretty easy to find. Uh, this one is, um, it's on, a, on the train tracks. The diner, Go. you just follow the train tracks down. It has a uh, hacking module. I just put it on one of my robots and had him pick the um, hack the, ro the computer and unlock it. And that one was uh, fairly easy to get to. Next one is in the Glowing Sea. It was in a cave. It's a full Raider um, power armor. There's a dead Raider beside it. It's over here in the cave just down from the crash sites. or two crash sites, wreckages that are uh, in between it. But yeah, that's a that's a complete set of Raider armor, and uh, that one was uh, just from exploring. I just was running around the Lone Sea trying to find stuff. And I was like, man, there ain't no power armor in here. And yes, there is a power armor in the cave on the Lone Sea. As you can see, it's all the way down the end of the map. All right, and the next power armor set is. So uh, you got to get through a uh, master pick, a master lock, but I used my robot again to go through the door, and it's right there in the Fillers Green Trailer Estates. It's in one of the trailers. It's in the master lock. This one is up here with the Super Mutant Mutants location, and it's also uh, the Reserve Satellite Array. This is where the uh, one of the quest is for the uh, yeah the the, the uh, it's one of the quests you can find. Um, it's over in this area, but that's one of the power arms. The next power armor is in one of the. It's in the mush area. It's by this church. It's in the marsh area. It's beside another crashed vertebrate, and looks like they just dumped the armor and left. But this one is. It was a. Yeah, the X01. Pretty much the best armor around. It's missing legs, but you got the arms, the torso, and the head. And I like this. I've had it before where it was a complete set, it's just how it spawns, so go ahead and pick it up there. That's where one of my X-01 power armors is. Next power armor is at... Alright, the next power armor location is... As you can see, I used my robot to unlock the door again. It was a ma another master lock. It's a full complete set of X-01, that's where I found it at. This is uh, has the most HP and hit points. Um, it looks pretty cool. It's got a nice, awesome-looking helmet, and uh, that's where I found it. This is at the um, one of the guards. Um, what is it called? Yeah, the National Guard training yard. All the way in the back. After you unlock it, you got to fight an Assaultron or a um, Sentry bot. Pretty easy. Here's one of the vendors at the Adam Cat's garage. She sells power armor parts so I went ahead and just picked her clean and I'm gonna reset it and go back and see what else she's got T51, T45 and then she had T60 armor and then you can get the complete set of Adam Cat's helmet after you do a quest for him and everything get to be a friend you can go to her and uh, buy all the armor that she has so that's pretty cool I, I just let her uh, inventory reset and I'll go back and see what else she got so that's how I got my complete set of Adam Cat's armor, power armor.
Alright guys, I think that's it. This is my uh, garage now, after going around and exploring. There's a couple, uh, I've got some down here up on the second floor. I have my uh, X01 modified, fully modified. There's the Raider Power Armor I showed you. And just all the other ones that I picked up along the way. There's my X01 Power Armor um, with the Hot Rider mod. And that's it, guys. Hope you like and share or like this video, comment, and uh, subscribe. Peace.